habiskan my metric number is 18BB050GG so for our group assignment on the company's analyzation our company is Sam Darby which we have selected based on their financial statement on the year of 2009 and 2019 so Saim Dhabi is a partner of choice for some of the world's best brands in the industrial and motor se sectors with operations in 18 countries and territories across Asia Pacific Saim Dhabi continue to grow delivering sustainable value to their stakeholders through oper operational excellence high performance standards and good corporate governance their mission, uh, they have four missions. Their first mission is to develop a winning portfolio of sustainable business. Second, to deliver superior financial returns through operational excellence and high performance standards. Their third mission is to subscribe to good corporate governance and high ethical values. Their last mission is to provide an environment for the people to realize their full potential. <coughs> so, Saim Dhabi, with a f workforce of approximately 20,000 employees. Saim Dhabi Berhad headquartered in Malaysia with operations in 18 countries and territories across the Asia Pacific region. Saim Dhabi Berhad is listed on the main market of the Bursa Malaysia Securities Berhad. With over 100 years of experience, Saim Dhabi Berhad has always been at the forefront of delivering sustainable futures and bringing development and growth to many parts of the world. They have achieved many awards. They are one of their famous awards. They won second place in PWC Building Trust Award in 2019. So after this, we are going to compare on debt ratio, debt to equity ratio and capitalization ratio uh, based on their financial <coughs> statement on the year of 2009 and 2019. Yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today I'm presenting about debt ratio. Okay, uh, for introduction, debt ratio is a solvency ratio that measures a firm total liabilities as a percentage of its total asset. Uh, in other words, this shows how many assets the company has to sell in order to pay off all its liabilities. Okay, to calculate the formula to calculate debt ratio is debt total debt divided by total asset okay we for 2009 the total liabilities uh the amount is 13434.1 and the total asset is 35439.9 so we divide the total liabilities and the total asset and we get 0 0.37 9067 and the ratio is 38 percent as for 2019 the amount of total liabilities is 10398 and we divide by total asset 25516 and we get 0 0.40707509 and uh, that ratio is 41 percent uh, for the graph here, we can see uh, Sam W. Berhard has a higher debt ratio compared to the 2009. 2009. Uh, for 2019, Sam W. has 41%, and for 2009, uh, Sam W. has only 38%. Um, this indicate that the company may put may be putting itself at a risk uh, for having higher debt ratio. So that's all for from me. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
My name is Nur Amaluddin bin Nur Azman. My metric number is BB05016. Okay, today I will present about Sandabi debt equity ratio. So we go through the meaning of um, debt equity ratio first. The ratio is used to evaluate the company financial leverage. Okay, so the uh, is mean uh, untuk jangkakan uh, untung uh, untung dalam company lebih tinggi berbanding dengan interest yang dibayar dalam equity. So we we look at the the D D divided by E, which mean uh, debt total debt divided by total shareholder equity to get the ratio. This is important metric used in corporate finance. So mana-mana corporate finance menggunakan debt debt equity ratio untuk measure the degree to which the company is finance its operation through debt versus wholly owned funds. So uh, it's major untuk me, untuk anggarkan ataupun untuk membuat ukuran yang boleh uh, yang boleh yang syarikat biayai operasinya melalui hutang berbanding dengan dana yang ada dalam company tersebut. Okay, so it's more specifically. Okay, uh, kalau mudah untuk kita faham, it reflects the ability of shareholder equity to cover all outstanding debt in the shareholder uh, of uh, event of a business downturn. Okay, maksud dia kat sini, uh, shareholder tu shareholder equity ni, dia boleh tak untuk cover hutang tertunggak company apabila company dia bankrupt ataupun kemerosot, kemerosotan uh, perniagaan. Okay, so macam mana dia nak jangka benda tu? So this is the formula, total debt divided by total shareholder equity. So this is the calculation I do. So we go to ta table. Uh, I summarize this uh, calculation in the table. So we see uh, this is 2019 and 2000, 2009. Okay, 2009. Uh, okay, this is uh, the amount in million ringgit. 2009 total debt is 13,484.1 million. Total shareholder equity is 22,005.8 million. So after we divided, debt equity ratio is 61.5%. Okay, we look at the 2019. Total debt, 10,398 million. Total shareholder equity, 15,118 million ringgit. So after we divided, uh, debt equity ratio for 2019 is 68.78%. So this is the graph, uh, the difference, and the difference uh, as we can see. The conclusion is this, the Sandabi debt equity ratio in 2009 is lower uh, than the Sandabi Berhad debt equity ratio in, in 2019. This indicate the company used lower debt in 2009, uh, lower debt to finance their asset. So that's all for me. Um, thank you very much. Hi everyone, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Aika B. Amran, 18 BB05022. So today, I will explain about capitalization ratio. So, the, what is capitalization ratio? The capitalization, capitalization ratio is compared to the total debt to the total capitalization, which is capital, capital structure. The capitalization ratio reflects the extent to which a company is operating on its equity. So the formula is long term debt is divided by long term debt plus the total shareholder equity. So we take two years 
and the company you choose is the standard paper hard so uh, the first year that we take is 2009 so the total long term debt is 2826.8 so it will divide by 2826.8 plus 22005.8 so when we divide we will get 0.1138 or in percentage, we take 11.38%. So, the Sandra B. Berhad in 2019, so we take the after 10 years, so the total long term debt is 814. So, divide by 814 plus 15118. And 15118 uh, this is the total share of the equity so we will get 0 0.0511 or 5.11 percent so we will see the anal analysis for capitalization ratio so this is capitalization ratio so as we can see the graph the graph is decreased so what is the analysis? So in 2009, the standard cap high capitalization ratio is 0 0.011, which is less than 10 years ago, which is to 0 0.1138 in 2009. So this is good because the company is financed more by equity than outside long-term debt. So that's all from me. So thank you for watching. As conclusion, Sina Biba Heart performance is in good condition from 2009 to year 2019. From the conclusion from both year, the total gap amount of asset and debility are getting closer in year 2019, while in year 2009, it had a big gap of difference, meaning the debt is increased. This indicates that Sinabi Bahad is putting their company financial in high risk. Sinabi Bahad is getting better by having more shareholders who finance their operation and not putting more debt as their financial sources. This is proved by their debt to equity ratio, where the ratio increased from 2009 which was only 61% and in 2019 was 68.78%. In addition, they did not depend more on outside long-term debt but rather depend on their shareholders' equity to finance their operation. This is good because the company performance is satisfied by their shareholders who are still loyal to make investment in CNW High.